I've always loved lasers. They, the light, they shine, the things you can do with them, making laser light shows, holograms, communication today, uh, all are use laser light. Uh, years ago, I was always big in subscribing to radio electronics. And one year, about eight, 1989, they did a universal laser power supply project in the book. And I ordered a kit, a laser tube with a power supply, and a spare laser tube. Well, I built the kit and put together one unit with a uh, power supply and laser tube. And then uh, the other two would just sit on the shelf for about 20 years now. Well, while scratching around for parts for another project using stepper motors, uh, taking apart a Hewitt Packard laser jet printer, I came across the high voltage power supply used to uh, charge the paper to attract the uh, toner. And with the dit, and it was 6,000 uh, volts DC, my laser tube needs about 1,600. But the laser, but the difference was, is that the power supply was only rated at 200 microamps, where I need 4.5 milliamps for the laser. So I thought maybe after it goes through the ballast resistors of about 200k and the drop and the big thing is getting the voltage to make it ignite, I came up and said, well, maybe it'll work. So I played with it, pulled it out, stumped it. I need the enable signal to operate the... Uh, so if you don't get power at first when you power it up, you'll find that there's a positive, negative and the white wire on this unit enabled a power supply. I uh, started with 18 volts, no results, and by the time I cranked it up to about 24 volts, I started getting sputtering. And then a little more adjusting to the little potentiometer, I got a nice steady beam. So, way out there, if you have a tube laying around and thinking about some way to make a really cheap power supply for your helium neon laser this is one route while I'm not a laser tube expert I don't know with this not having a self regulating voltage and only using the bounce resistor to protect the tube I also noted that help with the power is when I went from a re somebody had recommended a 75k resistance for the ballast I went to 200k and that seemed also to uh, cause too much current drops the high voltage down too low. So just to, so if you you may need to play with these values a little bit with your laser hard starting tubes. I don't know if you'd have a problem with them. Um, I have not tried it with my higher uh, wattage tube, which is five milliwatt, to see if this would drive that. But if it's if you get it for free out of something, you know a scrap unit you've not really lost anything but if it works you now have your a cheap power supply I run this off a AC wall adapter power supply uh, unregulated DC around 24 volts and it seems to operate fine I run this for 30 40 minutes the power supply gets a little warm not super hot uh, I'm gonna post the model, unit, model number of the unit uh, you'll find these power supplies on all the different laser jet printers and some of them have more wires and you have to go through and figure out which ones will enable the unit. Uh, if you're a laser enthusiast out there and you can say hey there's something wrong with what I'm doing here let me know so I can amend this to say hey maybe we should do it this way. But so far I don't see any problem to the tube. Just don't use a CFL power supply because AC high voltage is not good for laser tubes. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Comments at the bottom and any suggestions. And eventually, I'm going to make me enclosure and some mounting brackets and something nice to put this thing in. Have a good day.